right, on this episode of Building the X-Set, I'm going to show you guys how to hook up and run your fuel lines for the X-Motive X-Set. Basically what I did here is I didn't buy the $300 kit from Flying Miata or X-Motive. I actually made my own uh, stainless steel braided lines that run from the tank up to the uh, firewall in the tunnel. Then I, since I'm running an NA fuel system, and I cannot find a way of getting AN fittings up to uh, the fuel rail because uh, how it tucks through the intake manifold, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, because of that, I ran uh, just fuel injection rubber hose from the tunnel up to the fuel rail. So I already have everything installed. I'm just going to kind of show you guys my routing, what I use, give you an idea on some of the fittings, and we'll go from there. As far as all the braided uh, lines go, Basically what I did was I um, just went to JEGS and purchased all their uh, 6AN fittings and their 6AN uh, stainless hose. The total, um, you know, for all the adapters and the hose, I believe was right around about $160-$170, uh, which is much, much cheaper. And then I have about $30 in, in fuel injection hose, so I'm about $200 in. So I saved $100 off going... Uh, with the flying Miata, I think that's about three three twenty in the X Motive kit. I think it's about two seventy three hundred something like that. So um, basically, uh, cut off the first barb that is normally here on this um, fuel tank line, and then uh, use the I think this is a Russell um, fuel system adapter here, but it basically goes from five sixteenths hard line in a compression fish fitting up to um, a 6AN threaded fitting. Then basically just straight couplers here. I also have a JEGS, uh, I think it's a 40 micron inline fuel pump on my feed line. Also to let you guys know, very, very important since the NA Miata is a full return system, unlike the MB, uh, you do have to run two lines. Uh, that's what make the, makes the NA systems a little more expensive than the MB systems when you buy these stainless kits. Uh, because you have two lines going front of the car to back of the car. So this line here, basically the one that is in the center most of the um, plate cover here, is the feed line. This is your return line. So you'll basically just want to go down a little ways. I don't have this mounted yet, but I'm going to be mounting this fuel filter on here. But um, basically uh, running the fuel filter on the feed line, of course, as you want to filter the fuel coming out of the tank before it gets to the motor. And then um, this basically just runs underneath let me see if I can pick this up here oh no I gotta bolt it back down underneath and you can see I got some p-clips and I tapped the uh, frame there and mounted some p-clips on top of the subframe there from there it drops down under the tunnel and uh, basically um, if you guys can get the camera down here and if you can see down there I have p-clips mounting on the power plant frame all the way down the tunnel and then I have my fuel lines running to here, and here is the other fitting. This is a, basically, right here, this, this gold piece is a double barbed fitting, uh, basically an adapter, bar, double-sided adapt, barb adapter, um, from a 6AN line to a 5 16th line. And then I have these nice little trick, um, you know, they look like a compression, an AN compression fitting to cover your stainless hose, but they're actually a clamp-on hose clamp. Uh, inside there as you can see here. So that is mounted right here on this fancy little <laughs> quick bracket that I made up and weld it in. Let's see if I can get this clutch hose out of the way. Weld it in here. Get the camera down there if I can. Weld it in here and then it basically bends up and then bends over here at an angle. And then uh, I have P-clips holding that and securing that there. Now one thing that does is that bracket there, because it sticks out farther than the frame, allows me to basically have uh, clear my brake line here. Otherwise, the stainless lines would be rubbing against the brake line if I went um, into the uh, to the frame rail here. So then from there, I have basically 5 16 fuel injection hose. Uh, my feed line is ran on the bottom of the two, and then up to the fuel rail up down right down there you can see my clamp hose clamp and then the return line is running here up to my fuel rail these were also covered in uh, I think it was three uh, I can't remember if it's 
I think it's 3 8 um, tech flex too. And then uh, heat shrinked at the end. So uh, that just gives a nice little look there and um, looks better than just a black rubber hose. So that's basically the running of the fuel lines. The other thing I got to do is I still have to put a hose between the uh, rail here into the fuel pressure regulator um, before I um, uh, for, to complete that out. So I haven't done that yet, but um, other than that, basically the, the main parts of the line are ran. So basically, just to show you guys quickly again, you can see down here, my lines ran, how I routed them through the tunnel. And then for another view back here, here is my mount on the subframe. And I'm probably, when I pull this off, going to put another P-clip mount down in there somewhere just to try to get this line from uh, chafing and being loose right here. I'm going to try to get it there to support it somehow. And then, uh, not quite sure, but somehow I'm going to um, mount this tank, or this filter to the tank. Um, I have a hole drilled here. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. I'm trying to stay away from any type of uh, zip ties on the car. Uh, just trying to do it, you know, as professional looking as I can. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick, basically, overview of how I'm running my uh, X-Set fuel lines using the stock NA tank. Um, we have a tank I showed in the previous video how to mount that to get as much tilt as possible. I got about two inches tilt forward toward the front of the car. Uh, like I said, everything that I use was, is available at JEGS, and they seem to have the best price. Their fittings are very nice quality. Um, everything threads on good, fits very nicely, nothing stripped out, nothing comes, you know, chipped or bent. Uh, everything was um, a real nice quality part. Uh, the couplers were about, I think, $5 in comparison to a lot of places, one, eight to 10, sometimes $12 for just a straight coupler. So it's quite a bit less expensive. But once again, everything on the list, or everything on the car here was from JEGS as far as stainless lines go, uh, ran about $170. Uh, up front to do my um, fuel hose, fuel injection hose, I think it's right around about four or five bucks a foot. It's not cheap, so make sure you um, uh, get enough, but not too much. And uh, yeah, that's basically how I how I wired it up for now. In the future, if I go for more power, I'm going to pull that fuel rail and get a nicer fuel rail that does have a 6AN fitting on it so I can extend these stainless lines all the way up to the fuel rail. Just for now, for getting it started and getting things going, uh, this is the way I want to go with it. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you like them, please hit the like button and subscribe down below. I appreciate it.